already clicked it. <laughs> yeah, right. Too late. All good. All right, hold on. I, let me open up uh, YouTube here and, and see if that's even doing anything. I want to take my jacket off. That's all. Over there. Let's see. Oh my gosh! All right, I'm, I'm put on mute. Bolt, I'm wearing my bolt bucket shirt. That's a oh, cool shirt, nice. Greg. Nice. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> nice. So we're live, guys. Bolt bucket. I'll bet You're he's live. not here. So, uh, so can see, you guys see who's? Uh, can you guys tell me who's? If anybody showed up, that's kind of sucks for me. Eric's, Eric's here, cracking. Eric's here. Yeah, Eric's here. Let's get dude, right? Let's get cracking. Let's get <laughs> cracking. I love. I love saying that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it, you know, Eric, you, you do have a really good just like slogan. Know. Your demeanor, your delivery is awesome. I know uh, he's got it. He's really got it together. Good. Uh, and the way he edits, the way he edits is just almost like genius. I, uh, <laughs> it, it, the way he's got the aquarium in the background and then his ghost mm -hmm. dog shows up at the end and all that. Sure. Just, uh, he can, he can take a, um, out of nothing in his garage and turn it into something fascinating. Whereas, I have to literally go out there and show guys no, doing wheelies and, <laughs> <laughs> you know, all this hey, crazy Bill. stuff just to make it interesting. 602 but, North. RJ. RJ. RJ's in the house. Oh. HTJ's here. Good Roger, morning from Australia. Oh, is, is, is Roger on the back or the oh, front of the motorcycle oh. today, guys? <laughs> uh, <laughs> good morning, guys. <laughs> Early over there, What's huh? up, Roger? Early I can't see the chat room. That really sucks. I, I should have set my iPad up. This is awesome. So, all right. So, how about this? Hey, welcome everybody who's who's watching. This is our first level ever live stream across two different channels because why not? I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, this is open and frank conversation. No holds barred. Anything goes type of ordeal. If, if you have a question, throw it in the chat. Um, I think most of you that are coming in here, you're you're linked up to to one of us here. And if you're not subscribed to the other channels, please check them out. Um, they everyone here has got some decent content besides myself, which is totally oh. fine because I live in Chicago. Yeah, that's, that's that's completely wrong. I watched right. I watched your video this morning when you were you were riding across and you showed got some killer shots of the ocean there. I oh, believe that, it was Chicago. Was it Chicago? That's Lake Michigan. That's Lake Michigan. Okay. Well, whatever it was, I was, yeah, I was pretty, I was pretty uh, tickled pink about it. So, Thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. But yeah, yeah, everybody, everybody, you know what, if you have a question in chat, uh, go ahead and post it. But uh, you know what, uh, being our, our first time, why don't everybody just come around and introduce themselves? Let's start off with, with Jody and PSP Tommy G. Okay. Well, I am Jody or purple on three. And uh, I ride a 2018 Can-Am Spider F3 Limited, and I live with this guy. Tommy G. <laughs> hey, guys. Well, I don't have a Can-Am Spider, and I'm not allowed to ride it, but I do have a Harley that I get to ride on once in a while. I'm PSP Tommy G, and it's great to be on the East Coast, and we're going to ride to the West Coast this year and see you guys. Yeah, we are. Yeah, I'm looking forward to you guys cutting across uh, the desolate yep. plain of Illinois, so... <laughs> Uh, let me know when you come through, and I'll, I'll be sure to give you a nice warm welcome with some cold old style beer. Oh, <laughs> nice. Hey, Tommy uh, G, you got the right shirt on there, brother. Hey, Greg, does this shirt look, look good on me, Greg? Yeah. That's that's bad to the bone. I should be wearing <laughs> mine too, but I'm representing Australia tonight. I like that purple nice. white, Greg. <laughs> nice. Greg, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to everyone? Oh. All right. Well, my name is Greg Vincent, and I know a lot of people locally think that uh, riding Humboldt County is a group of people for some reason. I don't know why. They think that they say, oh, you guys do a great job over there. I'm like, what guys? It's just me. <laughs> <laughs> I tell them, but uh, I ride a, a 1998 Dyna Wide Glide and a 2010 Road King. And I recently wrecked just a couple days ago my Dyna Wide Glide. And I went ahead and I threw it up on YouTube, uh, knowing that I'd get a lot of criticism. And boy, yeah, it was bad. And I got a lot of 
uh, caught a lot of heat, a lot of people calling me a rookie and this, that, and the other. But you know what? You know, the good thing about it was is that everybody that I rode with uh, was very, are, they're all very experienced riders. And we, we rewatched the footage and they saw it in person. And not only did I avoid people behind me, you know, the domino effect by taking mm -hmm. the ditch. Um, I also didn't slide out into the oncoming lane and get run over by a car. So, yeah, I missed my turn. I blew it. I panicked a little bit. I'm a human being. I made a mistake. Uh, but they all wanted me to upload it to YouTube. They thought, oh, yeah, do it, do it, do it. And I was like, no, I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? That's embarrassing. But I did it anyways. I did it for my buddies up here. And, and really quick, uh, that yeah. Moto Stars picked it up. I noticed that he commented on your uh, on your video, and now that Moto Stars picked it up, it's going to end up one one of his feeds. And oh, then, yeah. then the the Royal, do do we say Dan Dan the Fireman? He's gonna he's gonna analyze that for you. Oh yeah, he's gonna break Dan it down. Dan, he's the Dan, Dan Dan the Fireman's already got me in one of his, and I <laughs> caught slack for that too a long time ago. But yeah, <laughs> so it is what it is but it's you know it's just a true testament that uh no matter how good of a rider you are if you haven't been down yet you will unless you're on three wheels maybe you might get away with it right jody maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> yeah. but i mean sooner or later if you're on two wheels and you're on the road you're gonna go down it's gonna happen i've been down twice now on the street once uh well now, I'd say both times they were my fault, but you know, um, gravity it happens. I, I, I'm not, I, let's put it this way. I'm not in any big hurry to get on the bike right now. It, it kind of shook me up, not just, not just physically, but mentally too. I even kind of questioned my, uh, riding skills for a while there, you know, for a day. I was mm -hmm. like, is it time to hang it up or? You know, and then I thought, no, no, man, I'm not going to I'm not going to go that far. I'm not going to give up my passion for just because I got in a little accident. But, yeah, I did go there. I did. I did think about it. So I, I, I bet. And, you know, and, and I, I watched your, your video, the, the the behind one, especially not that I was checking you out. It was uh, your braking. It looked like you locked up your, your rear brake and you stood it up. And, and the bike just kept on sailing off to you. I mean, you didn't low side, side it on the street. You, you're right. You, it looks like you did everything right. It's just you ran out of road. Yeah. You know, okay. Well, to break it down with you, um, I didn't know. I didn't realize that the roads had just got salted. Okay. Mm -hmm. For one thing. And I heard later on on Facebook from, from some people that opted out on going on that ride just because of that reason. And they knew about it. I didn't. And I was with a bunch of guys on sport bikes and I was the only guy riding a 1998 wide glide. Well, it's still no excuse, but with my smoked visor. Okay. And my modular helmet, as I came around that corner, there was a moment where everything was dark. I lost vision of the road. And then when I, when the light, when the light came back on where I could actually see the road, I realized I had taken it too wide and I couldn't correct it. And yeah. so it was either, it was either lay it down or take, just ride it out in the ditch. So that's just what just, that's just the way it happened. And you know, it's pretty fortunate because the bike is, What's up, y'all? No damage. No damage right now. So hey, good. Hey, Brandon. That's good. I made it. Hey, is that B Jup? Is that what up, man? Brandon? What's up, Brandon? Black Belt Bagger is in the house, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it out, you guys. I my freaking laptop wouldn't link into Instagram to get the link. So I did it on my phone. So I got my phone and my headphones going. So I think I'm good to go. Right you are on. good to go. Hey, uh, so we're just walking around the circle. Uh, since you just joined, why don't you tell everybody who you are and what you're riding and, and anything else you want to tell them? Awesome. Awesome. Well, I'm a black belt bagger. I'm Brandon. That's my name. I live in San Diego. I ride a uh, 2019 uh, Road Glide standard. Right there. Which is <laughs> in the garage. Uh, I always hang out in my garage. Uh, I've 
I have a house full of girls. I have two daughters and a wife, and this is the only space where they don't touch my stuff. So uh, God, God bless you, Brandon. God, God bless you, Brandon. <laughs> I know that. that. It's been a rough, it's been a rough sixteen years uh, since yeah. my oldest was born. Uh, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a black belt jujitsu. That's where the black belt bagger comes from. And I'm fortunate enough that uh, I get to teach jujitsu for a living. I just actually came from teaching my kids classes today and I got uh, one of the guys to finish off the class so I can get back here and uh, get logged in. Um, but yeah, I started doing YouTube in September of last year. Um, after watching YouTube forever, I was like, I think I want to start making videos. And so far it's been, uh, it's been pretty fun. I have like uh, almost like one I use YouTube for like, you know, motor vlogging, talk about motorcycles and, and fitness and jujitsu and stuff like that. And then if for you guys that follow me on Instagram, my Instagram page is a little bit different. I'm uh Yeah, you're the angry American. <laughs> I'm right? the angry American. That's right. I'm a pretty, I have a really political uh, Instagram page, uh, but I try and keep that off of uh, I've done one angry American motor vlog. Um, I'm not going to do it a lot, but uh, <laughs> I love I could it. make a video every 15 minutes if I really wanted to, but. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You have, you, you have no, you <laughs> You never run out of stuff to talk about when you're on the bike. Yeah, yeah I, uh, I'm just I got, the opposite. I got that gift. <laughs> when you get me started, you got to make me stop. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And, and uh, just for the at-home viewers, what's the difference between karate and jiu-jitsu? Oh, that's a really good question. Uh, so jiu-jitsu, uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu in particular, um, was developed in Japan um, off of judo. Um, it was actually the self-defense um fighting style of the samurai uh it got taken to brazil in the uh early 1900s and uh, a brazilian family everybody knows the gracie family uh the, the story goes that they were taught a, a judo-esque style of japanese jiu-jitsu and then they took that and they developed it to be a lot more aggressive so um if you're familiar with traditional martial arts um most of the asian martial arts we call them traditional martial arts um, you can practice like it's called kata. So like they, they like move, you know, and they perform ha ha, right? It's like that. In jujitsu, everything you do is against a resisting opponent. And because we don't do uh, much striking in jujitsu, it's grappling. It's basically wrestling with submissions. Um, you're able to train that all the time. Like I can't go out and train full contact karate every day. I'm going to get a black eye. I'm going to get a concussion. I'm going to get kicked and punched in the face. I can't do that but I can go wrestle with my friend. And if he chokes me, I just tap and I'm, I'm no worse for the wear. Um, so that's kind of the main difference is jujitsu is much more, um, much more based in a realistic uh, physical confrontation and ability to control that. Whereas in uh, karate, traditional karate is a less, um, I try not to talk bad about other martial arts, but it's a less realistic art for self-defense. It's a beautiful way to show a coordination on the human body. But at the end of the day, if you take a black belt cry and a black belt jujitsu, that black belt cry is going to be carrying my lunch wherever I tell them to. Right. You know, that's, that's can I ask just, a question? That's just the honest Brandon, I got a question for you, Brandon. Uh, what do you, what do you think about Tai Chi? Uh, it's for Tai Chi is for meditating. It's for meditating. Okay, that, that that's 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 what I thought too because I'm a certified uh, student instructor of Tai awesome. Chi. Yeah, it's a great but, way to f open your mind. Yeah, I, I practice it myself just for uh, health reasons and sure. um, just gentle movement type stuff, you know. But uh, there is a, there is a style called Soon style, and it is actually a, a martial art form. But I don't know it in that sense, so I right. just thought maybe you might. Right, lots of um all these arts, all, everything has its place. I guess that's the right. best way to put it. Um, where a lot of arts can help build you up physically and mentally. Um, they don't necessarily, uh, they won't necessarily protect you in a dangerous situation. I guess that's the best right, way to put it. Right. You know, right. um, I have a couple, I have a couple <laughs> students in jujitsu that are, that between the two of them, they hold like nine different black belts in, in traditional martial arts. And uh, they come to jujitsu every week because they want to learn how to do jujitsu. You know, and when we spar standing up with with full contact, I run over them just like I do on the ground. Right. So a lot of it is yeah. who you are as a person, um, and how you're going to use your art. I'm a, I fought, uh, I fought a little MMA back in the day. Like I'm a, I'm an aggressive person by nature. So no matter what I'm doing, I'm going to be aggressive as I do it, and that's going to, uh, that's going to bode well in a, any type of competition or self defense uh, scenario. 
Well, you'd be you'd do good on a sport bike too if you oh, had. I, had one. A, I got a lot of years on a sport bike already. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, I made a video about it. I've got yeah. a, I've uh, I've had over thirty bikes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I've ridden nice. everything. I've had I've had a, a the RC fifty one the Honda RVT one thousand. Um, that's my favorite bike of all time. I, I had two of them. I liked it so much. I bought one, sold it, and bought it again. <laughs> um, right on. I rode, um, I had a GSXR um, 1100, the one before the Hayabusa came out. I had a Gixxer 600, a 750. I had a CBR 900 RR. I had a 954. I had a ZX9, a ZX6, um, and some cafe yeah, bikes along the way, too. Mm -hmm. I'm a motorhead. Right and uh, nice. before that, I was in the street. I've got an obsession now where I'm I'm getting tired of Harley Davidson and, and because after riding with these with these young kids on the sport bikes and me not being able to keep up, I'm wanting to get a sport bike. I know I'm not going to jump on and try and keep up with them right out the gate. I'm just going right. to take it like slow, a, but I'm like actually Moto Mike. Gonna, what's that? <laughs> like Moto Mike 805. He's got, he's got yeah, RR. yeah. I want yeah, some, but, but you know, that thing's sweet. Exactly. That's yeah, rad. <laughs> the technology is so much like i haven't been on a sport bike in 10 years you know right and me neither go on and you see like the Fireblade or that mrr 1000 from bmw you kidding me you know it's yeah like they're crazy the weeds. <laughs> every i heard every three to five years was what i was told every three to five years the technology just advances so much that the 300s become like uh 600s and the yeah. 600s are like the you know the 1000 mm -hmm. cc bikes and my uh, um, my 13 year old wants to ride um and I, I i was looking at those uh the honda navi they just came out this year right it's like a it's like a 200 cc automatic honda matic basically and i thought that'd be and it's like two grand like 1800 bucks brand new or something like that i was thinking about maybe buying something like that next year for her and let her just kind of figure it out or maybe even a uh, like drag home some old you know CB two hundred and fifty or something like that. Something really easy for her to manage. She's a short stack, so I'm gonna have to make sure it's low. Um, but yeah, I used to be a guy that would drag shit home left and right. I always had a whole bunch of projects in the garage. But my wife, you know, the Bronco's behind me. That's taking up all my room, so I got no more room for more bikes. So. <laughs> <laughs> you're lucky. You're lucky, Brandon, because you live in a you live in a place where. The weather year round is pretty damn good. Well, hang on there, Greg. Hang on there, Greg, because this guy <laughs> next to me can ride anytime off of mountains and cliffs and stuff He's like hardcore, that. But you know, well, that's actually that's pretty much the only thing I got going for me out here these days. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, you know what? Let if you guys don't mind, let let let's have Tom introduce himself and yeah, all please. the things he's been wrenching on lately. Yeah, the host himself. <laughs> there we go. How's it going, guys? Hey, Potomac, coming from you from the AT Shack here in Colorado. You might recognize the star of the show behind me, the KLR 650. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, what else can I say? It's I'm trying to keep warm in the shack here. It's about 52 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> I'm in a t-shirt. It's it's like 70 in my garage. <laughs> I did have a few days to take out the bike and I managed to get some some nice footage with that with that sky to you. I think some of you've seen that. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, we get days like that in Colorado where you know one day is just snowy, cold, 20 degrees, next day is gonna be 52 sunny, yeah. roads thawed wow. out, and you can go ride. Yeah. So it's just I, a roller coaster ride. Yeah, I grew up in New England and I remember I had a uh, my first bike was a CB 500 and my mom said if I could, if I could make it start, she'd sign the title over to me. So when I was 14, I rebuilt the whole thing and I got it to start. So we made her give it to me. And uh, I used to drag that thing out like February. As soon as there was no snow on the, on the road, I was out there trying to ride that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too much. Let's hop on over to Wally. Oh, hey, that's me guys. <laughs> Hey, can you, right, can one of you guys let can one of you guys let everybody that's in the chat room know that I can't see anything that's being said because Eric from Kraken's Garage just sent me something on Instagram. It popped up on the screen asking me a question, but I can't answer him because if I tried to leave this uh, on, me, live same screen, way, I can't see any of the chat either. I can just see you guys. So. Oh, yeah, so, right, oh, yeah. you too, Brandon. Because I'm on my phone. 
Jo- okay. Jo- All right. Jody, I'm not the only one. I'm trying to do multiple one. things at once here. I don't know how Bri what? does this so easily. If yeah. Well, he's been shit, doing it. A while. I would be able to know my um. Thanks, my login Jody, for, for Instagram. I would log in on my laptop, but I can't remember it. Yeah. Sure oh, thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on a sec. I'll be right back, guys. You carry on. I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> one second. <laughs> All right. Wait, same here. Hang out. We'll be right back. Hang Where are we going? Oh, you, you. <laughs> I mean, whatever. I guess we're going. We'll be back. What are we doing? Oh, boy. Must be a problem. Okay. I'm back. I just got to sell. Oh, man. I should. I should. Well, just well, let, let me. Yeah. yeah, I know. I got to go get one, too. Uh, uh, quickly, I'll introduce myself. Hey, I'm Junkyard Dadsky, JYD. Outside of the Chicagoland area. Been riding for about two years now. I've got a 1979 uh, Harley Sportster XLH. So awesome. Uh, yeah, with the Siamese uh, exhaust. So that was a hard, hard, uh, hard vehicle to find, a vehicle, a motorcycle to find all the parts for that one. That was a pain in the butt. Um, last year, I picked up a 2022 uh, Indian Super Chief. Uh, it's my in between before I go full out bagger. And look <laughs> at Greg. Greg is back. Actually, Greg, that looks uh, quite nice on you. Well, hey, not much let's, get, let's, let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. That's what it's all about, right? <laughs> special, yeah. special request from uh, the man himself. That's what hey. I just saw him pop up there and say. Is he going to wear his mullet or what? Where'd Greg, where'd Greg go? Where's Greg? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Paul there. Oh, let's see. I'm, I'm scrolling down. Yes, let me know when you guys are in Chicago. That'd be awesome. Even in Paul M. Let's see who else we got here. We got more questions here. Ah, Paul M's in the house. Paul M is in the house. Wow. Hey, you know Paul M's a good dude. You know he uh he's been he's been a big supporter of all the really small motovlog channels for a long time. When I was down, and I had maybe. 20 or 30 subscribers he would come to all my crappy videos that i thought were so wonderful at the time and uh he'd watch every last one of them and just you talk about committed and he still does to this day and the thing is is he he just recently got his own bike uh he's he's been watching all of us and now he finally has saved up and got his own motorcycle so i'm really happy for him that's awesome yeah, he's finally got he finally he's finally gonna get to do his own stuff, you know. He finally he's finally on the road, so I'm always trying to encourage my buddies to buy bikes that don't have them and they never do. Right, right. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, and HD Vibe, I know where you're at, and I'll be headed down there this year. I will hey. reach out to you. It's the best part of being in Chicago is at least when it is nice to ride, you can ride anywhere you want. You're kind of right in the middle. Yeah. I got a lot of family there in uh lives in Chicago, as a matter of fact. I don't know exactly what part of Chicago, but um it Chicago is relatively the, the upper quadrant yeah. of, of Illinois. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I lived in Wheaton. You ever heard of Wheaton? Yep, I know where it's at. That's just uh north of me. Actually, everything's right. probably just north of me. Salty and sprinkles right. in the house, hey. Oh, salty. A lot of the moto vloggers are more towards the East Coast. As long as the, <laughs> at least the ones that I know, a lot of the right, ones I follow, right. everybody's out towards the East. Yeah. Yeah. There's a few guys. I'm starting to meet more guys in San Diego. I haven't actually met anybody in person, but like uh, Ricky Bobby, Ricky Bobber Moto, he's in San Diego. And then um, Full Throttle Hog, I think that's his name. He's in San Diego too. Uh, mm-hmm. But I haven't had a chance to meet anybody in person yet. But and then Harley Adventures is a, one of the very first guys that I really talked to on YouTube. He's up in LA. If you guys don't follow that guy's channel, he has some of the best uh, maintenance stuff. So if like you can't remember something, he literally talked me through auto tuning uh, my bike with my uh, Dino Jet just by watching his video. I, like literally, what's the name? The, what Harley channel? Adventures. Harley Adventures is name. Harley. Oh, Adventures. okay, yeah, yeah. Harley Adventures. Yeah, super, I know who that is. He's a smart. He's a really sharp dude, people. and like. His maintenance stuff is so good. Like I use it instead of looking it up in the manual. Right, right. I code. I'm gonna have to get rid of this mullet, guys. Sorry. Oh <laughs> no, no, Greg. No. It's, it's making it's he making my head. Don't cook great. 
<laughs> so, Eric. so Jody and Tommy, you guys are going to VAM this year. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. We are. yeah, yeah, yeah. I would really like to go out that way. If something blows up, I'll definitely head out that way. Um, even that weekend, I'm, I'm going to, uh, the o Ohio camp out at the quarry, uh, same oh. weekend as VAM. So uh -huh. if that, if that goes sideways, I, I'm, I'm traveling with a buddy of mine. We'll just hightail it down to VAM and uh, meet you guys up there or down. Yeah. There. That, that Ohio camping thing's done. So you might as well just yeah. come to VAM now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, where, where, where is that? The, uh, the, which one, VAM or camp out? Uh, VAM, VAM. I heard a lot about VAM that last Liber year. Yeah, VAM's a Virginia Moto Meetup in Tazewell, Virginia. Yeah, Mr. G1965, him and uh, Ten Rides uh, put that together uh, last year. They had two of them, the main one and then a mini one. And uh, if you guys never had squirrel stew or squirrel <laughs> gravy, yeah. oh, God, yes, he – Mr. G is the best squirrel gravy. Tell me maker. you're a hillbilly without telling me you're a hillbilly. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, I'm man. telling you. And, but I'll and, eat the shit out of that, too. So we'll hey, there's uh, RJ. RJ's, RJ's in the house. RJ's going to van. RJ's going, yeah. So uh -huh. it's, there's, I think there's like, uh, he was on, uh, who's the channel? The Canadian guys. He was on last night. Military <laughs> Biker and all those guys? No, was he K up there? No. Which Canadian no, guys now? It's uh, Harley. Harley's Diners Rides. Harley Diners Rides. Jarvis Biker. Mm -hmm. Jarvis Biker. Superman Cab. Superman Cab. They have a live stream Monday nights at 8 p.m. Yeah. Eastern time. See, I don't know mm -hmm. any of those people. Yeah, There's there, so yeah, many out there. It's there crazy. So many. I can't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anyways, Mr. Mr. G, uh, he was on there last night and uh, telling a little bit about, you know, the activities they're going to have. You know, similar to what it was last year. Last year, the the main event got rained out, so they had a little one, and we went back for the little one too. But that area for riding and in, in around Tazewell, Virginia, it's mm -hmm. it's just gorgeous. And you know, everyone talks about the dragon, right? You know, it, it, let's do let's do the dragon, let's do the dragon. Well, the back of the dragon, Route 16, in that area, you know, the the dragon out that everyone wants to ride is is short. It's not that that long what is it like maybe five six miles long or something the, mm. the dragon the back of the dragon is three mountain ranges and it takes like you know two hours to get over so you've got you've got some really serious riding you know for a length of time versus uh you know just a short distance you know and the dragon's nice too don't get me wrong but the back of the dragon you're going over quite a few hills uh mountains i guess and, and it's it's just we like it. It's fun. And if you're like us, you can do it at night. It gets really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need some new new lighting. What did Salty say? It's too bad oh, I can't see the chop chat room. I see some things popping up there, I'm but he said old. something about the dragon. Yeah, he was saying it, uh, it's it's uh, many more fun fun roads out there. We got uh -oh. such pendants in the house as well. Uh, right on. JT, hey, uh, there's a there we go. Rogers riding, here. Uh, in Arizona called um, the devil's highway it used to be called highway 666. And now it's like, it's got some other name now, but it's like 114 miles. Ooh, and it's just supposed Ooh. to be ridiculously fun. So I think I'm going to actually go do like, uh, like a, like, like ride out there and like spend the night and then hit it in the morning and then ride up and then just kind of make my way back, you know, to California, like when I feel like it, but what what uh, was that road, Brandon? What it's was called that road? the devil? It's called the Devil's Highway. It used to be literally Route Six Six Six, right? And now it's like one. Hold on, I think I still might have it on my computer. It, uh, well, where's it run from? Like oh, it's, it runs uh, north and south in Arizona. A north, okay. Oh, nice. You so know, there's like, there's a uh, Highway Thirty Six up here, which is just south of me, and I don't ride it very often. And they call it the unforgiving oh. highway. If you ever get a chance to Google that and look at a map of that and look at the, it is, it is one oh. treacherous road. I, I try to stick to 299 and it's pretty brutal itself. Uh, yeah. In fact, it was brutal enough to put me in the ditch the other day, but um, highway 36 is uh, just, I mean, motorcyclists get killed there all the time. I hear about it on the news. Yeah. Like, once a week, I'll hear about it on the news. I try to stay clear of it, but you know, 
Yeah, it's a yeah. US 191 is what it's called yeah. now. 191. You 191. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. It's a. Uh, so it used to be 666, huh? Yeah, now it's yeah. It used to be US 666. Now it's 191. Wow, we have a wow. 666 here in PA. We we have a, a route 666 six, six. that takes you through the countryside. No kidding. The, people like to, to ride it to say they, you know, they rode the yeah. it's a 117 the, mile run, so it's a fun day. Wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it just well, looking at the map, it's just bam, 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 bam. So I bet it's a lot of fun. Um, now Joey, I, heard and Tom, that gets... I know you guys uh, are going up to Sturgis this next year, possibly. Well, we already we have yeah. uh, we had last year we were supposed to go, and uh, my father passed away, so it didn't didn't work out uh, in the end to do that. But uh, so this year we planned it again, and we already have our campground picked out. We're staying at the uh, Custer City. There's a c crazy horse campground in Custer City, and it's like sixty bucks a night. It's you sleep uh, six to a cabin. It's a great, everyone that stayed there, it's a mom and pop place. It's really cool. Nice people. And uh, so we're, we've got our, our uh, cabin already booked and all we need is time to do it. And and you went nice. there last year, Tomek. You were showing yeah. where you stayed. You stayed in someone's yard. So I was two blocks away from uh, the main strip in downtown Sturges. <laughs> and I found a, uh, through Airbnb, uh, this lady was renting out little tent spaces in her yard. So, like, <laughs> that's the, that's the best nice. place to camp. Just uh, walk yeah. from the bars at night and take off riding in the morning, right in the <laughs> hot work. spot of it all. But yeah, last year was my first year and it was awesome. Now, from where I'm at in Colorado, it's only about 380 miles. So, I can take off around, you know, eight, nine and be there in the afternoon. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So, a one day trip and, uh, yeah, nice. it's amazing. I mean, I've enjoyed so many of the rides in the area. And I, this is my first time actually in South Dakota. So oh. really fun trip. And I'm hopefully planning on doing it, it again uh, this year. I'm hoping. So we may we'll see, see what happens. So, so, I, you know, like I've asked a dozen people this, and they've all said the same thing. Either go like the week before Sturgis or the week after Sturgis, but you know during the rally itself, there's so many motorcycles. It's just congested, and I hear we, you know, again we've never right. been there, but I'm saying people say, oh, you're going to wait in line at the gas stations, you know, to get gas for hours, and it's like we're, you know, so we're we're oh, not doing that. We're gonna we're gonna go <laughs> we're gonna go the, it's not the that bad. I mean, <laughs> you can get <do> gas. <laughs> we're we're going that way. Let me tell you, I mean, gas stations. <laughs> we're going that when we're going that Wednesday, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then the following week we're gonna do that, you know, and right afterwards too. So oh, that's gotcha, cool. gotcha. Yeah. So you're going on they the back end, it waves, right? Like yeah. that first weekend when it starts, yeah. it's crazy, and then during the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it kind of slows down. Everybody goes heads back out, and then that second wave comes in the next the the final weekend, kind of. But. And then, then we're I, coming to your house. We're coming to your house after that because we're going west. So, oh yeah, yeah. Hey, you got to you got to come check out Avenue of the Giants. If if none of you have ever been through Avenue of the Giants, <gasps> okay. Uh, Redwood Forest and whatnot. Oh, the, I mean, the, you. It, it's like it could be a completely sunny day out, and you go through Avenue of the Giants, and all of a sudden it's nighttime. Yep. That's how big the trees Whoa. are. Oh, wow. They're. I mean, they've even got one that. Uh, you can actually drive a bus through it. They carved it out at the bottom, at the base of it. But, you know, you go you go into there, and it's not too far from here. I've got a couple videos up about it, but the videos aren't that great. But yeah, it's you just... Got, you got to be there. You gotta yeah, be, you got to be there. It's gnarly. Yeah, it, it is. It is. It is. It's like you get this forest bath. I don't know if you heard the term forest bath, but... You, you get a forest bath when you're riding through there, but it's really strange because it's really bright outside. And then all of a sudden everything gets super dark and the foliage is, and the trees are like thousands of years old. So it's just, uh, and um, yeah, it, it's, it's really cool. But what I want to do is I've got a problem. I've got this 14 year old German shepherd over here that oh. needs 24 seven care around the clock. And she's the only thing that's keeping me from coming down and riding with that guy right there. Oh, get that. Me, you and your dad. Let's go. What's ride. that? Get down here. and We'll go ride with your dad. 
That's right. That's what I want to do, man. I want to come down to San Diego and ride. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I've got a 13 year old Staffordshire bull terrier that just walks up the walls and barks at them. Now she's, she's as senile as they come. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid, you know, I don't, I, 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 the, the problem is, is that I could come down, but I'm afraid that if I take her with me, just the trauma from from sure. the car ride that's how bad off she is right now might just yeah, put her we, over the edge we haven't put her in the if car I take in a couple her with me now. just the trauma from from sure. the car ride that's how bad yeah. off she is right now might just yeah, put we, her over the edge we haven't put her in the if car I take in a couple her with years me now. wow is that like somebody else talking doubled up or something it was i, I think, think it was like, me it seemed like it like re it repeated itself. It yeah, crazy. it was like yeah. this. Same, I heard my voice saying the I heard same mine thing too. three times. <laughs> hello, hello. There's, a, there's a glitch in the matrix. There is big time. <laughs> hey, hey, just just really quick uh, for everyone watching. Thank you guys for joining so far. Um, if you are a newcomer to these these uh, channels here, uh, in the the comments down below, not in the live chat, just say hello. So everyone knows who you are so we can all find your yeah. channel and, and link up to it and subscribe. Uh, yeah. Make sure you like th this, uh, this uh, shenanigan right now, but uh, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's keep it going. But I'm going to pause for myself for a second so I can get myself a frosty barley pop. <laughs> what? Do you, what? A what? Do, you, do you have barley two? Lolly? Is there two? <laughs> hey, I want one. <laughs> barley and hops. <laughs> Well, uh oh, it water, got silent all of a sudden. Yeah, we need, we need, we need the black belt bagger to get going, oh, get on geez. the roll here. He's the I man. Feel like I start talking, and then I'm the only one talking. <laughs> yeah, I got to use the restroom <laughs> real going. quick. Okay, I shall, I shall return. I, I apologize. Hey, hey, Brandon. Yes, sir. So, so when when did when did the Gracies become? you know, in the, in the limelight for when they brought their style out, because I got, I gotta, I gotta tell you what, what do you know about what year that was? Uh, it's really actually a uh, Hori and Gracie came um, to LA in the, in the early nineties, early nineties and um, was teaching out of his, I was teaching out of his garage basically. And, um, <clears throat> but actually before that, a guy named Carly Gracie, um, immigrated to San Francisco in the early 80s and he was teaching up there but jiu-jitsu really wasn't catching traction um, a lot of people don't realize this but Hori and Gracie um, developed the original Ultimate Fighting Championship for um, a showcase of Brazilian jiu-jitsu um, people don't realize he actually developed the first one the entire thing was just an advertisement for jiu-jitsu and that's why um, they picked Hoist Gracie to compete in that first UFC. Um, if you haven't seen it, uh, Hoist is not a very big guy. He's right. like 5'10". He's like 170 pounds. He's not a physical specimen. No, and right. his dad, Horian, wanted him to be there because he didn't want, you know, we ha he, they had Hickson, who is yoked and looks like he could rip your face off. Well, they didn't want the, um, the world to meet jiu-jitsu like that. They wanted to meet it with a little, you know, a kind of unassuming character coming right. out and using these techniques on these very intimidating looking men to show you what jujitsu can do to a person. Um, well, you so, know, I'll, I'll never forget the in the 90s, uh, late 90s, I guess, you know, the first time I saw Gracie, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't stop watching. I mean, it just, it was just, he looked like, it's just like a nor normal sized guy, right? Yeah. You know, just a sleeper, you know, mm -hmm. just a, you know, I was like, what's he going to do? Holy man. And you, if you go back and watch those, that old footage. Yeah. It, and that's exactly it, it, why they had him in there because they it, wanted it to be, they wanted your reaction. You know? it, it was, it was amazing is because, it, you know, it, yes, you, yes, you have, you know, you some power and, and muscles and, and muscles. If, you know, you can lift, you know, a thousand pounds, but I'll mm -hmm. tell you what, he, he mm -hmm. just, he was amazing. The, the techniques that, that he used, but yeah. it's just amazing to watch what he could do. Yeah. He, he was like a, he was like a boa constrictor, a tiger and yeah. you know, a leopard all in one, just, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I joke around a lot. I'm a, I'm a bit of a runt myself. I'm only five foot eight and uh, I walk around like around 170 pounds, you know, I and still then... wouldn't want to run into you in a dark alley, <laughs> <laughs> but because of jujitsu, it doesn't matter. You know, I, I, 
I, uh, well, I, train, I watched, uh, I watched some of your videos. You, you, what you were lifting, uh, what, uh, 450 pounds something or, uh, I think I have a video of me doing like, I think it's four and a quarter. My, um, I got into yeah. powerlifting, um, pretty wow. heavy, hardcore in around 2015. <laughs> yeah. And, um, I that's impressive. Felt- that's impressive. I that Thank is. You. yeah. Thank you. So my my all time high. I got all the way up to five ten on the oh. deadlift um, when I weighed about one hundred and eighty five pounds. Um, and uh, I my goal was to get to six hundred pounds. That was my goal, and I still want to do it. But I my body's I'm really falling apart. Um, the last year has been a real eye opener. I'm f- I'm forty eight and uh, forty eight. What? Yeah, yeah. I'm forty eight, <laughs> and. Uh, the last 16 years on the mat has really taken its toll. Um, I've got some, uh, some disc issues in my neck and my, I've torn my knee a few times. Uh, so I'm it's trying the, it's to tough getting old, isn't it? It really sucks. <laughs> um, no, I'm trying to manage say, it best well, I can. Well, you don't know, you say the human body starts, starts to die in the dying process, like at 27 from 27 on or something like that. Yeah. Chemically they there's everything has a limit, you know, like, right. um, uh, I have a theory about like human growth hormone. So we all have human growth hormone in our bodies. And I think that <clears throat> you hear the term baby faced or things like that. And I really believe that people that tend to age slower probably started off with <clears throat> a more, uh, a more overactive thyroid gland that was producing more human growth hormone than maybe somebody who at 18 looked like they were 25. You know what I mean? And nice. so like when you're 30, like when I was 30, I looked like I was 18, you know, and now if I don't have a bunch of gray in my beard and I get six feet away, you know, I still look like I'm in my thirties. You know? Well, you know, that same thing happened to me. I'm 75. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really Tommy? No, no, no fucking way. <laughs> wow. My dad is 75. <laughs> Tommy, you're quite the jester. Yeah, he is. I knew he'd come with some jokes. Did you bring your spray? <laughs> well, Where's well, your mask? Gra- oh. My what? My mask. It's on the bed. Yeah. You mean Penelope's mask? Wait. Yeah, yeah, Penelope. 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 We don't want Penelope showing up. Yeah. You don't want Penelope? <laughs> but you do want her or you don't? No, yeah, you don't. Well, yeah. I want to have oh. I'll tell you there. what. I can, be, I can be in the worst mood at night sometimes. <laughs> And then all I got to do is go to Instagram and look at some of the stuff that Tommy G sends me. And I <laughs> stitches. I'm in stitches. Absolutely. Frank. Just beating my Funny. fist against the floor. That's a salty does that to me. That dude sends me reels. that makes me cry. They're so funny. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. Just, it's it's I like, mean, where, where do people, where do people come up with this stuff? Right. I, I, I sit there and laugh all night, all night long, but you know, yeah, just yeah. there's, there's been a few comments about Penelope and she helped Jody out with, her uh, giveaway video and yes penelope will be coming back but she had to go back <laughs> she had to go she had to go back to hollywood she cost a lot you know she really but you know i got to meet her and we talk every day you know so yeah but she'll be back yeah don't hey worry. tommy tommy is penelope single huh <laughs> well ch- let's chat afterwards wally <laughs> <laughs> Hey, do you see what you guys see? What Scorpion <laughs> sent me on top of my helmet? Look at this wow. hat. That's a nice hat. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Nice. 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 in the house. Oh, look at that, RJ. Hey, look. <laughs> That's a nice hat. Nice. What's nice. RJ? What what hat do you have, RJ? Oh, look at that. oh. what is that? It's a uh, what's it called? Island Dog Bar in Key West. Oh, oh excellent too. Are you streaming uh, on on the YouTube as well? Yeah, hold on. I try hold the on. echoes going on. Let's see. I need a VS chick hat, please. Different hat. There we go. Wardrobe change. I had to turn off the. Check the... this one out. You might know this guy. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, Another there's post. Eric again. I wish I could see the damn chat below. <laughs> I can't. It's bugging me. Eric is calling out Penelope for having a being a tripod. <laughs> well, what, no, Kraken says Penelope has a kickstand. I don't know how he knows. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. I don't know if I want to know the answer to that question. Hey, Brandon, I, I sent I sent Eric your way hey. tonight. As a matter of fact, He's yeah, I picked up there. that sub on my uh, on my way home. I saw it. Thank you. Did you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Right on. 
you'll like Eric. He's a good dude. Nice. So so we've got we've got two uh tripods in, in the house. <laughs> so tires. two so you used to ride uh I saw was it a, a Harley in your old picture that you put out there that was like 10 years ago? So me? Jody, when you were 25? Oh me. Yeah. Oh no, that was a Kawasaki 454. Oh, oh. that was a must have one of those time. Instagram filters on or something. It was kind of blurry. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we have uh, 602 North introduce himself really quick since he just yeah. popped up? Yeah. You guys know me. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm RJ. I'm in North Carolina. I'm... Yeah. Hey, Tom. Yeah. Um, I currently ride a spider. Uh, that's about all there is to know about me, I think, right? Where, whereabouts are you in North Carolina, RJ? I'm just north of Charlotte in uh, Statesville. In Statesville. Yeah. So we we have to come through there to go to VAM. We're picking you up, or what are we doing? No, that's north of me. I got to go oh, up right. north for that. Up. Yeah. KG. Yeah. You can come, come down, there. though, and then we'll ride. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, right where 77, I-77 and I-40 cross is where I live. I live right on. downtown in the old. Aren't old you, town here. RJ? Aren't you? Aren't you thinking about getting a a, a bagger? Isn't it, I, aren't you? I am. I've I've been looking. I've got a Do I've got a, a a series on, you know, what will RJ buy next? And you guys have to help me pick it out or something. But, <laughs> oh. um, well, you need to talk. You need to talk to Brandon. He'll he'll guide you the right direction there. Yeah. Well, you see that? You see that video of me and my gajillion bikes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I, the last video I did that uh, when I was summer dreaming, when I was warm weather dreaming, you know, I was going through those pictures and I had all those pictures of that, that 2010 Harley I had that I absolutely loved. Even my wife will say, we never should have got rid of that bike, you know, but uh, mm. she does like to spot her a lot though. So. That's what my my Harley is. My newest one is a, is a 2010 and I love that bike. I don't think I'll get rid of it, but since I've crashed the Dyna twice now, I'm already Curse. thinking about getting rid of it. It's, it's got bad juju. Yeah. Somebody told me to get rid of it, and they, they said if I don't get rid of it, I should at least change the guardian bell. <laughs> at the That's very least. <laughs> and, and you know what's funny about that? Is the same guardian bell is on it from the first crash. I never changed it. Who's Who we got now? Is that Desiree? No, no stress, just... Desert Rose. Oh, okay. Hi. Hey. I just recently met. I just recently started following that channel, too. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't recognize who it was. Greg, you damn near held that bike up on that. Oh, hey, go. On, on that sideways things, man. That was, that was, that was experience uh, riding, even though you over, you know, you, you lost it on that turn. Like, yeah, I that blew video, it. You, you damn near held that thing up, man. Yeah, I was bouncing on some big boulders, buddy. I was, I, I was, I was, I was hoping to keep it upright, but there wasn't any chance on that last boulder. Yeah. It just snapped, <laughs> bars snapped right out of my hands. <laughs> so uh, we got streaks, streaks, and Desert Rose are in the house. So uh, <laughs> you're, you're, we can't hear you though. Can't hear you, yeah. See if you can come off mute so you can introduce yourself. I got microphone issues. Mm, nothing yet. Sign language. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> We're number one. <laughs> what's what's the name of the channel again? I can't pronounce it. Strakes and Desert Rose. Strakes and Desert Rose. Right? Yeah, she gave us the th thumbs up. So okay, All <laughs> she right. can hear us. She has right. a spider. Hubby has a Harley. Yeah, nice. Hey, can, can Craig's here. Oh. Was in the chat. Oh, uh, Shimoto Travels. There oh, we go. There he is. <laughs> Now that guy is brilliant. He, just, he, he has some really, he has some really good stuff. 
Can y'all hear me now? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Hi. <laughs> huh? All right. How about that? Is that better? Yeah. This is the first time we've heard our, um, his name said right. And oh. we almost were thinking rebrand his name. <laughs> well, how do people usually say it? Uh oh. We have a satellite delay here, folks. Yes, we do. <laughs> oh, did, did you? No, no. We can hear you now when you're talking. Yeah. Okay. Now I get. Oh, okay. That's you go better. right ahead. Don't. Yeah. Don't pay attention to that. Pay attention to us. <laughs> yeah. No, usually they say it steaks or steaks. steakers steaks. or. <laughs> <laughs> It's streaks. 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 Streaks and desert rose. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting a reverb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah streaks. Mm -hmm. mm hmm. They got it right. What well, do you? Are you? Are you gonna? Are do? You, would you like to do an introduction to and tell us a little bit of how? How you got started on YouTube and how you got into motorcycles? Or, or maybe Tom should be asking you that. I don't know. I'm just trying to help out here. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we always liked motorcycles. <laughs> well, that's but... why we're all here, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> but we got a Rogue King a couple of years ago. They turned down the sound, maybe. Then traded it in for a Rogue Glide. And that's then that's a good. That's a good. That's a good move. I wished I could do it. My <laughs> pocketbook won't allow it. <laughs> and then we got a. a Harley soft tail standard. Mm. Oh, wow. And then I got my spider. There you go. So, so how do you like your spider? I love it. I absolutely love it. What, what year is it? What model do you have? Rose? It's a 2019. Uh, RT, F3, or? RTL. RTL, nice. 2019. And it's Be right back. You know, I, you know, I got a great question, because Can-Am is Polaris, correct, Jody? No. No. No, no it's BRP. 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 Uh, they, make, they make Skidoos. Skidoos. Skidoo? Canada. Yep. Canada. Oh. Yeah. North. North. <laughs> Where's that? <laughs> North. It's about three hours that way somewhere. <laughs> In Wisconsin. It starts at the Wisconsin border. <laughs> Unless you're from Minnesota, because then you're a Minnesotan. Minnesota. <laughs> so I had a friend text me tonight that uh, that deals use Harleys and uh He's got two spy uh, uh, Can-Am Rikers, which is not a spider; it's a Riker. But What's that? Uh, and I've been kind of eyeing those too because I'd like to have one for fun. But they're the Rally Edition, which are the most expensive ones. And uh, right, right. I think I've seen a few of those. They're kind of like more naked edition. There's not so many bags on them. Front. Yeah, and it sits down real low. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they look pretty peppy. Yeah, yeah they are. Like I'd like to have one to goof around with, you know, and. Uh, so he sends me a picture saying I've got two of them right now, two 19 models. You know, how much are those going for? Well, he said 11 to 12 thousand dollars. So when somebody says that, it's automatically 11 or, or less. You know, it's 10. Don't say 11 to 12 because I'm going with the lower number, but uh, to buy a new 600 is like 89.95, isn't it, Jody? Something like that, 89.95. 
Yeah, more than I have. This brand. So the rally is <laughs> about 13, 14 grand, I think, for a new one. But they're, I think they're actually lifted a little bit. You could take them off road. Well, that would think be you fun. could buy three was... of those instead of just one Rogue Glide ST. Exactly. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> you know what I was telling grand. Jody? You have a fleet. <laughs> uh, you know what I was telling Jody? I was telling Jody the other day she had to look into getting paddle tires for the for the spider. Well, we'd have to get a plow too, Greg, because it gets unloaded uh -huh. the ground. We'd have to get a plow also on the front end. Oh, like okay. that around. would look so the cool. Back, put some chains on yeah. Yeah. I mean, wait, wait, wait. They don't have this for, for them. Don't they make don't they make paddle tires for I mean I, I remember as a kid when I was uh, racing three wheelers in the desert. They had the sand tires on them. the sand tires. Yeah. Yeah. The, I, we had we'd go out to Glamis. You know where yeah. that is, Brandon? I know exactly where it is. <laughs> okay, we'd go to Glamis every weekend and we'd do we'd uh, drag up the hill with our paddle tires yep. on the three wheelers and the quads <laughs> and all that. And I was thinking to myself, how cool would that be for all you guys that have a lot of snow? To be able to ride through the snow, um, man. Now I just got Pete. Just says, "Hey, Greg, I know you can't read. Peter's trying to talk to me. I'm sorry, but I was thinking, how cool would it be that uh, if you could put paddle tires on a, a, a on a spider and be able to just rip it through the snow, kind of like a snowmobile? It is a snowmobile. Would it work?" That well, Greg, I'll tell you, the, if you if you had the clearance, like if you had an F three Sport, you right. could you could stud those tires out with That's some ice, ice studs, all three, yeah. all three, or even or even chain chain the uh, the two in the front plus the drive in the rear. I I think it'd go pretty well. Yeah. You might <laughs> as well just get a snowmobile, right? <laughs> Our neighbors. <laughs> Our neighbors do it with our golf carts all the time. We ride golf carts year round here. <laughs> right, we'll right, we'll, right. We'll chain them up, you know. Harley Adventures said, "Greg, make your way to L.A. Then we'll head down to SD and make uh, meet up with uh, Black Belt Bagger." Yeah. Right, all those places. Oh man, see, I'm missing all this stuff in the <laughs> chat room. <It's> not <laughs> I'm gonna get my. I'm going to get my iPad set up and see if that makes it uh, different next time if we do this again. Because I can't read any of that. I don't I don't know who's in the chat. Only if you throw that up there, Tom. Yeah, definitely. I, I feel like maybe we could do this uh, every uh, every Tuesday, same time. And whoever wants to show up, they can show up, you know? Yeah, uh, that'd be cool. Yeah, great idea. How does that yeah. sound? Yeah. 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 Nice. That's a nice. group chat. Absolutely. Why not? Uh, every Tuesday, same time. Whoever wants to show up, right? We'll throw you guys a link and hop Away on. Here we go. Yeah, wide. especially especially with it getting getting into the right season for a lot of us in the Midwest and Northern <laughs> territories. <laughs> um, we can start talking about plans for for the for the year and rides and you know all the activities that are going on. Right, right. Hey, hey, Wally, tell me about your Indian. What do you want to know about it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, I, I t I'll tell you this much, Tommy. That still is probably my best spent money on any bike in my entire life. I, if you guys haven't seen my video on, on my first ride and review, that was legitimately my my honest reaction of that bike. I fell in love with it. On first ride um but it's it's still going great i've uh, got about five thousand miles on it from the last season obviously i'm not putting much in during winter time um i did get a stage one intake on it so i'll be popping that on there and i'll do a video and whatnot and run it over to the indian dealership so they can uh code it and upgrade it and whatnot i did get the uh dean speed uh rampage exhaust the uh, slip-ons which has a fantastic uh note to it and i'm probably going to end up pulling the uh, baffles out of it because well you, you can always go louder right which model indian is that it's the uh super chief, super chief it's right. the 111 okay very nice. right right do you yeah. guys know uh you guys know brian at ride with two indians i think i've seen his channel yeah he channel. Channel. he's That's he's great. uh i'm good friends with him in fact uh he when i way back when I was first starting out and I was using pretty uh, bad equipment like old cameras and stuff 
he upgraded to a GoPro 10 and whatnot, and he sent me his old GoPro 7, and I'm still using it. Oh, Actually, cool. I cracked the lens in my accident, oh, the back no. side of it. But uh, mm. um, he, ride with two Indians. He's he's got he just bought the Challenger, the uh, Indian Challenger, and he just loves it. He's man, he's done a bunch. Of you know, when when I went to go go look at, at the, uh, the super chief. It, it was, I was still in that range of a soft tail, soft tail slim, maybe a heritage classic, whatnot. Um, right. so I wasn't looking for, for bigger. I guarantee right. if I probably sat on that bike and took it for a test ride, I probably would have walked out the door with that. Oh yeah. I'm curious yeah. about the Indians myself, but I mean, I'm, go I'm not going to lie. I'm a, I'm a Harley guy. I just, I am. And, and right now I, I, uh, I've got this new appreciation for the uh, crotch rockets because I couldn't keep up with them. <laughs> I want to have some. I want to have some. I want to have something I can be able to keep up with the uh, with my new friends. Yeah, really. You, know, you you got a case of speed envy, huh? I, I'm, I've got a problem. I've got a pro. I've got a. I've got a problem when it comes on the road to. Uh, it's it's always been like this competitive nature in me <laughs> and i've got to get over that because that's what that's one of the things that that you know led to uh what just happened to me but so uh, yeah i do i do want to get, the, get a sport bike but at the same time i'm asking myself am i am i digging myself even deeper into the hole for a bigger accident or you know because i'm I'm 54. I mean, Brandon's 48, and he, but I mean, he's an, uh, I mean, yeah, I'm even older than Brandon is, and I don't even know if a sport bike's the right answer for me. At least you know you probably won't be riding it for five, six hundred miles at a, at a cliff and be like, I think exactly. I'll take a 40 mile rip. <laughs> <laughs> I think well, somebody I, that'll race you, Jody. Well, Jody will race you. <laughs> you know what? It, and and the yeah. thing is, is I got this nice brand new helmet that was that was given to me for free, and it's a sport bike helmet. Now I got to get a bike that matches the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, was it a Roo Rock? Hey, hey, say it, settle mm. down. I a, a scorpion. <laughs> well, Wally, I've got a, I've got an Indian story for you. So you know when that when that Indian Challenger came out, I was I was just all over it. I went, I took like four. We went to all these dealerships, did four different test rides. Fell in love with it the first time I was on it. You know, just yeah, just an really? awesome machine. And so we were at a dealership uh, last year in State College, PA. And uh, I'm like, oh, let me let me show you the this Indian Challenger in here because they had a red one and I liked the red one, but it had a tour pack on the back. Mm -hmm. you know, it was in the showroom and the salesman, you know, I've heard this before, but there's some Indian dealers that just, uh, you know, their their performance isn't great with the sales and, and the service. But anyways, we went in and she was looking around and I sat on it. You know, I was playing with all the buttons that electronic windshield I love. I was putting mm -hmm. it up and down a million times. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so she Jody comes over and she, I'm like, hey, look at this electronic windshield. You know, zzz, 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 you know? And and uh, and I I hit the wrong button and it tried to start. And when it did, on, on the left side of my leg, uh, the left cylinder went ba -ba boom, and this huge puff of smoke came out on the left side of the the bike. And I and I froze and I, I went you broke I went it like this. <laughs> and the, sale, the salesman didn't budge. But we heard a guy yelling all the way across the showroom, stop, 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 don't touch it anymore. Here, here they, they had taken a, a spark plug out to give it to another customer and didn't replace wow. it. Oh, jeez. Oh, so, it's making me so, feel really good about Indian. Damn right it. So I, I, didn't, I didn't have to pay for any damage. We, we, just, like, we just like left quickly. Yeah. You know what? I, I gotta, I gotta, let's, let's, let's be honest here. With the supply shortage of everything, for Indian to pull something like that, that's not a bad idea. If Harley's got all these used bikes sitting there, you could – the pants are interchangeable. Though crazy well, yeah, right. what they do is what harley does is they just make the the used bike so expensive nobody actually ever buys one <laughs> so you just it's... take whatever you want off them because they're going to stay there <laughs> yamaha that's, that's <laughs> we were earlier at yamaha and they don't have batteries with the bikes because they can't get batteries for their bikes oh, shit. That's the factory crazy. yeah right. the, the dealer I has want to go uh, 
I want to go rent a Challenger because I found out that you can do that. Uh, San Diego Indian rents uh, their bikes out for like it's like 125 or 150 bucks for a day. I'm gonna go rent one and I'm gonna beat the shit out of it. <laughs> and just, just have a blast. Um, there you but, go. Hey, hey, it's like, it's like the Pan American's growing on me because at first I was like, that is a butt ugly bagger. Like it looks like a road glide and a gold wing had a baby and it was the ugly duck. Like, <laughs> I've told Joe that a bunch of times. Salty, if you're still in the chat, you know your butt <clears throat> ugly. Oh, <laughs> damn. Well, I, I, Low I'll blow right fast. there. It's I'll tell you. I'll tell you what, Brandon. When you when you go, I, I'll be anxious to see your review because it's just it's it's phenomenal. It ha- that's why I keep here. That's why I want to ride it. You know, you know it, the the center of gravity. You know, left or tilt tilt left or right of center. It, mm-hmm. it it weighs what is it like? Well, maybe Wally might know. It's like eight hundred and fifty pounds or something, right? right? It feels wow. like it weighs. It feels like it weighs four hundred and fifty pounds. It's right. it's ama- it's amazing how the 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 weight is balanced on it. Is it yeah. really eight hundred and fifty pounds? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And my, my my super chief is seven seven forty, yeah. but it doesn't feel like seven forty. Not at no. all. If, it actually feels it, it feels lighter than my Sportster, which yeah. is until, only until it starts to tip over, right? <laughs> the Sportster, yeah. The, well, the Sportster once that tips over, that's that's a different story. I actually dropped it oh, the first the the first time I ever went for a group ride. Right, oh, right. It's only heavier because of all the water in it. That's right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's also why it makes more power. Well, you know, I'll find I'll find the drain plug and lighten it up so I have a better power to weight ratio. That's what I do with my road glide. Whenever I want to go fast, I just take out the oil. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I just dump the oil. I go I'm, for I'm, you know, I'm drinking some Harley oil right now. There you go. <laughs> it's sad. It's sad. Our dealership up here. I went there. I. I posted a picture on Instagram today of a, uh, of a sportster, a new one. Like I think it was 2019 that belonged to my buddy. He's having some issues with it. And they were trying to tell him that it wasn't still under warranty. Well, I went over there. He didn't have a way to get it down there. So I took a picture of it and people were asking me, did I buy that bike? And I told them no, but, uh, anyways, to make a short story long, uh, (laughs) I, I hauled the bike down there for him and let him squabble with uh, everyone at the dealership. And I took a little stroll through the, through the dealership there. And I think there were maybe, maybe three Harley Davidson motorcycles in the shop and the rest were all different brands. There was, there was uh crotch rockets. There was Indians. There was, you know, but it was probably maybe 15 bikes in all in inside our, the, the, the place up here. And we don't have, we don't even have a dealership up here that sells Hondas, Yamahas, you know, sport bikes. There, it doesn't exist. Indian dealership, nothing. I have to drive five, five, maybe six hours to a big city or somewhere, you know, away from my small town um, just to find some place that sells different uh, brand bikes. Or even if I wanted to buy a new Harley. I wouldn't buy one from here because they don't have anything. I'd have to go to a, go to somewhere in the big city. So, well, you know, my my Indian dealership. If you want to buy a used Harley, go there because there's a lot of Harley <laughs> in there. <laughs> yeah, so my local my local Indian dealer is is the India of Charlotte. You know where, uh, uh, you know where the, the the what they call Lloyd's Tunes, Lloyd's Garage. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, Lloyd's. Place. Yeah, I was actually thinking about driving down there to get to to get the upgrades and stuff. But yeah, <sighs> you know they bought the Indian dealership in Minnesota now. Mm-hmm. Uh, huh. yeah. Your direction is probably a better ride than going up to Minnesota. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to travel to Minnesota a lot for work. So, yeah. Yeah. San Diego Indian is closed on Sundays. I thought that was crazy. I wrote over what did, there on What Sunday. did Craig say there about about the Pan America? He said he's having a ton of fun on the Pan America. Oh, I'll bet. He's, he gets to go on-road and off-road with that thing, man. I was I, thinking I that's a... Pan America. I thought that was going to be my next the bike. I, I, I think great, I want but... one. You should get one, Brandon. Uh, after this is paid off, I, I might. But now everybody's buying sports and turning them into scramblers. I'm like, well, I could do that. <laughs> yeah, you could do that too. But you know what? You you could you could think about it. You could ride up over uh, through Alpine, 
and drop down into Anza Borrego Desert oh, there totally, with your Pan yeah. America and just have a blast. Yep. That's yeah, what yeah. I'd be thinking that about. That like doing. really grew on me when it first came out. I was like, "What the hell is this thing?" And then I started looking at it and I started doing yeah. more research because adventure bikes are something I don't have a lot of experience with. And the more I look at it, um, and uh, Shade Tree, his long term review on it, I think that's what sold me on it. Watching him like mob around the streets on it, like jump off curbs and like just be a hooligan in general. It's like yeah. kind of a perfect bike if you want sport bike power, but right. that clearance, like why not? You know? Yeah. Yeah. I got to test ride that Pan America at the International Motorcycle Show out in Carlisle, PA, in where we go September, September, yeah, September yeah. and I'll tell you, I'll tell you, it was uh, it was fun. It it has some juice to it. I'm telling you, and I, I they they had all the different models with different tires there, so I just picked a, the the uh, street trail tire, but that raise and lowering. But uh, the one that automatically raises and lowers. Yeah, I'd uh, have to get that one. I'm way too short for the, for a regular one. Well, I'm I'm not I'm right but I'm right behind you, Brandon. I'm a, I'm five nine, but you know okay. I thought, oh here here we go. It's, you know, it's not. I'm going to be tiptoeing. I'm te- you. It just it just you just you feel yourself, but then you forget about it, and it's like it's like oh I can flat foot. You know, it's not. It's, <laughs> How tall are you, Tommy? Five nine. Wow, I thought you were much taller than that. No. Yeah. yeah okay. Five nine. Yep. But that pan that Pan America, it I'm te- it has some stuff to it. Now, the guy that uh, helped design that bike was at the International Motorcycle Show. We got pictures with him. You know, we we congratulate him because it is it's it's probably you know for Harley's first uh, ADV bike. It I thought it was pretty good, right? It really right. was like so, especially given that, some of the some of the some of the absolute train wrecks Harley's done in the past when yeah, it tried to yeah. market. You know. Like but but I'll tell it when it was all when it was all <laughs> no said and doubt. done when it was all said and done in the end I said hey do you know the guys that are over there doing the in the touring and the research uh, on the touring uh, bikes you know like the ultras and the road glides he goes yeah I know them I'm like well can you can you give them this engine and tell them to put it in a road glide for me so I got something to, that I could really go rip down the I, road with I think that's well, going to end up at, in, the, in a CVO like next year or the year after as soon as they can figure that, it out. Yeah. I think yeah. that's the first time, the first, the first uh, bagger it's going to have, it'll be the CBO because that's what makes sense. Like they, they really screwed the pooch by not doing a, a different motor size in that CBO, you know. Hey, like, uh, Harley Throttle Juice is saying five foot nine, little fella. I don't know who he's referring to, but if he's, re- <laughs> if he's, I'm referring- even shorter than that. So not me. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, if you're, if you're referring to black belt bagger, watch yourself there, Roger. <laughs> i haven't been to yeah. australia in a really long time <laughs> Since the 90s. and craig i saw something yeah. that tom threw up there from craig says that his wife's five foot four and she rides the pan america so That's so rad yeah she looks like a little kid <laughs> yeah. but so that, there you go that uh, you could be five foot four and you can still ride a pan america oh. there's there's the evidence right there what's that that pan america put what it's 150 horse right yeah, uh, well, that's uh, what Dewey was saying in the chat. 150 horse. Yep. Yeah, that's a I lot. Mean, when you Plenty when you power. when you ride that when you when you test ride that or get get on one, I mean, you can you can really rip rip on that thing. It it'll go. Tommy, did right. you get a chance to run it in sport mode when you test rode it? No, no, no. And you know the controls in the engine were the same as uh, same as the new Sportster S. Okay. We see, someone else in here. Yeah, we see daylight from the roads I've ridden with the, the oh, Chinese cool. knockoff oh, uh, right. mirror. Hello. Hi. Hello from down under. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome. Roads I've ridden. I've been watching that channel. Aren't you the one with the uh, with the white BMW? That's me, mate. How are you? Yeah, how's it going, buddy? Very good. Well, hello, I was everyone. Just watch- I was just watching you do an oil change this morning. Yeah, you just said oil change. Yeah, that was a pretty boring video, wasn't it? <laughs> no, it was actually, a, actually, a dog it, head. actually, I watched I a video of a guy taking the pen off and put little little plastic caps on his fender today. Like, I'll watch anything. Yeah, <laughs> no, I was intrigued. <laughs> was the starting as a dose of hemorrhoids, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm easily intrigued. So that's the beam of that. <laughs> there you go. I thought it was interesting because, you know, you were saying that they said, what, how many miles, every miles you're supposed to change the oil? 
Oh, 10,000 kilometers, yeah. 10,000 kilometers, and, and it was it was black after five. That's ridiculous, isn't it? It's, yeah. It's like, it's like the CRF250L. We got one of them here, the little Hondas, you know, the trail bikes. Right. And and Honda recommend a service intervals on that at every 11,000 kilometers. It's just I've, – I've never owned a motorcycle that's – that, any motorbike that will do 11,000 Ks – on any oil, it just without without it being cactus, you know what I mean? Right, it's, like, right. it's, huh. it's so funny for me, um, and I said this in a video once. Uh, when I rode sport bikes, I was the worst motorcycle owner. I literally went out of my way to try to kill my bikes. I never changed the oil. I never oiled the chain, <laughs> changed the plugs. I just rode. The yeah, shit you didn't out have to. You I didn't have beat to. The brakes the off those bike. bikes. They just yeah. keep going. My ZX9, I blew the fork seals. Like I remember going in and the guy laughing at me when I brought it to the shop. Right. He'd be like, were you just gonna ride this until it exploded? I was like, maybe. And now it's now <laughs> since I've switched to Harley's, like I am, I do all my own wrenching, but I'm like crazy meticulous about it. Like it's always clean, it's always in service, everything always works right. Like I just, there's no compromising anymore. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, my box running is good as you look after them, aren't they? Exactly. Really? Exactly. Especially with a Harley, I got to look after it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do my oil changes every five thousand miles. Like I do a three, I do a three hole every five k. Same with this old thing. If you don't look after it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna treat you well. Sure. Right. Right. Well, just don't put mineral oil in it, right? I mean, um, <laughs> I think the price of the BMW. Well, I don't know. I think it's, Harley's are the same. It's like they just seem the price of everything is just ridiculous. Like yeah. for parts, it's just because it, it says is. BMW or Harley Davidson, the price is, prices just go up and up and up. Hundred percent seems man. to be the case here in Australia. Jody, oh, don't like, don't you disservice your spider yourself? Service it. You mean like change the oil? Yeah, you change the oil yourself you know, and everything, check right? The oil. I check the oil. <laughs> you don't change it. <laughs> no, I have a video on how to check the oil, not but change. The the oil. Oil. Well, I know, but I thought maybe you changed it yourself too. I could learn. I could learn. Yeah. Right. 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 But that's what Tommy's good for. Yeah. It's like, well, it's you like have the channeling of. I'll bet there's a YouTube video out there on how to do it. There is. <laughs> there's the pool boy. There, you know, there's the window washer, and then there's the the spider boy. I, you know, I. Oh my gosh! Here, here, let me. I bought like an elbow for that with my wife. <laughs> let, let, let me, let me get, let me give you a real, life, real life scenario. What happens when you have a, a spider rider and a Harley rider in the same household? Okay, so, <laughs> so. So, you know, we, we picked up this spider, it took us a year to find it, you know, and it was, it was, we found an awesome machine. She's loving it. Right. Well, I was digging it cause it came with a trailer hitch, right. You know, a, a oh, and, perfect. And, I'm, and I'm saying to myself, Oh, you know, we can do the camping, like, you know, like uh spider Wayne and all these other guys that are camping, you know, uh, windy therapy, right. Pull, you know, and I, so we, I said, Hey honey, you know, should we look at some campers? And she's like, for what? And I'm like, well, because you have a trailer hitch. She goes, oh, no, that, that doesn't look cool on my bike. I want you to take it off. I'm like, but, honey, we can, we can, stay, we can camp under the stars, you know? She goes, no, 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 I'm looking cool riding my spider. Wait, take it wait, off. Wait, wait, so, what? Uh, we can camp. I'm willing to tent camp. I'm just not hauling a trailer. That's all. Oh, okay. <laughs> So well, that trailer's so, for his Harley when it breaks down. His oh! <laughs> <laughs> I had to say it. When you said a trailer hitch, I was waiting. I was like, I'm going to say that as soon as you stop talking. <laughs> hey, you know what no. I just noticed? I, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt the conversation, but you know what I just noticed? Everybody, everybody except me put their channel name up on the board and I put my real name. Oh, How do I log out God. and log back in so that they know it's RHC? <laughs> They're a legend. Everybody knows who you are. I don't yeah. care, man. Yeah, don't yeah care. that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> right. I think everyone recognizes that voice, Greg, anyway. Definitely. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, you, you mean get, the, the you the get guy more subs this way, Greg. Right, more right, stuff. right. <laughs> it's really hard for me to see you guys. I gotta, I gotta admit, on my phone, me too. It's really hard to yeah. see people's faces. I don't know if you can see 
mine very well, but I, yeah, I can barely hurting? make you guys out. I should probably put on my reading glasses. <laughs> <laughs> a glass Let's see if that helps. <laughs> yeah, it definitely helps. I changed that for you, Greg. Can you, is it, is it showing up on the screen? Oh, it is, Greg. Yeah. Yeah, now you're clowning me. Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys are killing me. Actually, I can see a little bit better with these, but. Uh, Peter's Peter uh, Peter and Bonnie. Do you guys know artist on a Harley and and Peter? Yeah. Well, I know you know them, Jody. Oh, okay. But <laughs> Peter Peter keeps Peter keeps sending me messages, and they keep popping up on my screens uh, on my screen. He's he's uh, he's trying to tell me something, and I can't I can't read it. But uh, oh, how's your toe? Oh, how's your toe? Oh, Paul says, how's your toe, Greg? My toe is definitely not broken because the first day I couldn't walk and yesterday I went out and I actually dreaded um, going out into the into the garage to see what the real damage was on the bike because I didn't want to I didn't want to know how bad it was mm -hmm. and I pulled it out to wash all the salt off of it and I was really shocked that all there was was a couple scratches on the exhaust and the taillight lens broke. And that was it. That's all I could wow. find that was wrong with it. Absolutely nothing else. The tank didn't even have one scratch on it. Um, the mirrors were fine. The front end's fine. The forks are fine. Tires are good. Um, and to answer Paul's question about my toe, um, obviously I just sprained it. It must have bottomed out. The bike must have bottomed out and I hit a rock. And that's another lesson to be learned too as far as um, – uh, using the right gear as far as boots go and stuff. I was wearing my high top tennis shoes, you know, and uh, if I'd have been wearing my um, uh, engineer boots, like I should have been, my toe probably wouldn't have felt anything, but I wasn't. So not to give a plug, but I just bought a pair of Indy ridges and those oh, come to wow. Wow. and I hear nothing. Yeah, but you got to have the right gear, gear on my, yeah, absolutely. Are they good? Do you like them? I, like I don't. I, I, I'll get. Oh. I'll get mine. <laughs> at, the moment, I'm normally, at the moment, I'm <laughs> normally riding in shorts and a t-shirt and flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> Wally. That on spiders. Hey, Wally. We've had uh, two two pair of those Indy Ridge, and you mm. you'll be impressed. Yeah. You've never. Oh yeah! Oh, they're they're. Awesome. I've got a I've got a set of Harley boots that. Uh, so first how long's uh, everyone been riding? Where'd Brandon go? Did he bail? Brandon dropped. Um, I've been riding two years. <laughs> <laughs> a little over forty. Thirty. Uh, Forty plus. Did Brandon just just uh, leave or or what? Yeah, where did Brandon go? I just kind of disappeared all of a sudden. I I uh, I would have I would have thought he would have said goodbye or something. I'm sorry. <laughs> did we give uh, Rose I've written a, a chance to introduce himself and his channel to the live? Hmm. No, let's absolutely let's do it. Oh, there's really my quick. There's I think we're gonna wrap this up here soon. So. There's Brandon. There's oh, Brandon. You guys are breaking up a bit. The internet's terrible here. At them. I was going to say, phone. Brandon, you better not leave without saying goodbye. Fucker. My phone died. My language. <laughs> I said to get the charger. Uh oh, I said the f word. I'm I'm busted. <laughs> I think I said it like three times already. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, so, sorry, Cody. So, hang, hang on, guys. So yeah, uh, my phone died. Road? I went to get the charger and it had to load. He's back. Uh, lost you, I think. And I, Ro and I got Rhodes, my glasses, Rhodes, I still can't see anything. Roads I've ridden. Why don't you introduce yep. your channel to everyone? Oh, me? There's not much to know about me, really. I've been riding bikes since I was seven years old. Mostly I rode um, enduro my whole life, really. Dirt bikes. Done a lot of enduros over the years. Crash motorbikes in the bush more times than I can remember. Um <laughs> Yeah, on and off about 10 years on the road, but 10. I have um, an unhealthy addiction for old BMWs. Have you got any of those crashes on film? 
Uh, no, that was way back before GoPro days and all that. I, after right. ten years, <laughs> after ten years, you get sick of right. crash. Right, right. <laughs> my um, my history is yeah, dirt bikes and. The old dirt bikes, mostly. Yeah. Don't you don't you do a, don't you do a lot of your uh, videos from the? I I seem I seem to remember watching a lot of your videos where you've got got it the GoPro mounted in a in an interesting place, maybe like off a crash bar or uh, off the forks or. Sorry, oh. I missed that. Oh, I, I was going to say, I think I've seen some of your videos where you have your GoPro mounted in an interesting place down below on the side somewhere. Or like down... Oh, yeah, down I've got a, a mount, on, I got a mount under the pannier. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I was going to say... If, if I, you can see, I've got... Oh, here you go. Oh. oh. <laughs> hey, guys, I got I to gotta go. I got to go to bed. You know, I got to get up early. Hey, 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 hang on, Darjay. Hang on a minute before you leave, okay? Can I, hey, Wally and Tomek, can I, can I, hey, Roger. Yeah, so wait, let's take two seconds here. Tommy's got something to say. I'll be signing off, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Wally. Hey, Wally. Thanks. Tom's going to take care of the rest. And I will see you guys on the next one. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, good, Wally. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the Have right. a good Bye. night. Bye. Bye. Take care, Wally. Good night. Well, before before RJ takes off, I I know uh, I, if I could, I just like to. I know there's some veterans here tonight, you know, and there may be some veterans watching. But I got a I got a message here on Instagram the other day from uh, a gentleman by the name of Perry Steed, uh, S T E E D, and uh, I see uh, RJ subscribed to this. Uh, He's here. Uh, Ride for Light is the uh, is the uh, name on in the Instagram Ride for Light, and it's dedicated to raising awareness for veteran suicide. And uh, check his story out because, and I just wanted to mention here, and I appreciate this. He uh, he had a good friend that uh, passed away, and he's going to take his ashes back, to, I believe, to Fort Bragg, and he's doing a motorcycle trip in honor of his memory to do that. But check out. Check out that. You know what I'm talking about, RJ? You... Yes. Yeah. The name of the channel is Ride for Light. Ride for Light. Yes. Huh. Yeah. And his name is Perry Steed. Cool. He sent me a really nice message here on Instagram, and I just wanted to just bring awareness so, so people can uh, take I'll... a look That's take nice. a look at his story. And he's gonna <clears throat> he's gonna start somewhere here in like a couple months or so, but. Uh, yeah, just uh, I appreciate you letting me do that, and I and I know he he would too. So you, you well, you, have... you can you can tell him you can count on me to subscribe, but I won't. I, I'm I'm not real good on leaving comments. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, first, right. first. Is, is first. there anything? <laughs> do you want Do you want to add anything to that, RJ? You something? No, I, I mean I don't know a lot about him, uh, but uh, that sounds like a really good. good that sounds like a really good thing, an honorable thing he's doing. That's cool as hell. Right. I like that. And he he's he's somewhere around uh, Wilmington, North Carolina. He's in Wilmington. Where he's my in, Wilmington. in Wilmington. And he came through a friend of mine, JT Southern Fried, who uh, we met at VAM last year. And uh, but he that's how he came through to me. But look, look, I check him out. Uh, Ride for light yeah. and see you know if there's anything. You know, if we can do to help, you know, we'd be glad to glad to do that for him to complete his mission. So, yeah, you know, cool. my, my buddy uh, that I mentioned, Captain Dave, the captain in my videos, who won't go on camera. He lives there at Top Sail. You know, he was he was a commander at uh, Camp June. So he just doesn't like to broadcast himself out. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. He probably knows him. Yep. So good, good cause. So you know, show some love and support. Yeah, that's really cool. We'll check them out check for sure. Out. Yeah, hey RJ, that. good night, buddy. Yeah, sleep I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep tight. I'm gonna hear Roger out first before. I... Oh, okay, yeah. Hey, let's let's hey, hear from Roger. There's a juicer in the house. We got a we juicer. got the, the man up, himself. The other juicer. Holy, holy juice. A the other five foot nine dead. juicer. The other juicer's downstairs. <laughs> She's at work. Hey Roger, oh. I want to show you something. You gonna put the mullet back on? 
No, no. But look at the shirt. Oh, no, I ride bolt bike and cool. I got the bike there thing. Go. I got Steph's shirt on. Oh, you got bikes. Uh, uh, bikes you got BDB on. Bikes burgers bikes, beers. <laughs> bikes burgers beers. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> you go right how, old, how are we all? Cool. You're just sitting right here next to me. <laughs> I just, I just thought I'd jump on and put a second Aussie accent on where um, roads he, I've ridden gone. He lost his feed. He lost. His oh feed. no! Yeah, I said come back next lost- week. I'm gonna get over there next year and get some of this world-renowned PA bark. I hear so many wonderful things about it. Oh, it's uh, it's mine was gone in one day, Roger. One day I finished it. <laughs> well, it you gone. Don't you got to get past the five foot. Uh, bring me a you piece of Bundy rum and you can stay at my house. You weren't chewing, <laughs> you weren't chewing on it before you went. Hey, Greg, Greg, you weren't chewing on it before you went into that ditch, were you? What's that now? You weren't chewing on it before you went into that ditch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no. No, no, I, I, no, no I, I mean that in a nice way. I mean he was devouring it and enjoying oh, it. Oh, so okay. Much. I was thinking maybe <laughs> I could no. Leave it. <laughs> no, man. It was gone long before that happened. Uh, I've been watching for about 10 or 15 minutes. I haven't heard Tom say anything yet. Yeah, Tom's Tom's the host, but What's I that? Think... <laughs> say there something. I haven't heard you say anything. <laughs> you don't let him get a word in. <laughs> we just cut him off. Everybody's in and out talking. constantly. <laughs> I mean, this guy. Yeah. It was great having Wallow here. He's a he's a great host. I feel we should have him back. And uh, yeah, oh, there we go. I agree. Look at that cool That's sticker. That's nice looking sticker. <laughs> well, it's great to yeah, see so all you guys. guys. It's you too, Roger. We, we're going to do this at the same time, starting at 7.30, and it's kind of a free-for-all. We're going to send links out in the chat. Whoever wants to join in can join in. We're going to rotate. I think we can do a max of 10 people in the chat, but it's kind of getting scrambly after six or eight people. So, Roger, if you want to hop in here a little earlier, I know it's like, what, 12-hour tw- difference for you? So it's, uh, what, yeah, 9 a.m. over there? Yeah, right Right now it's Wednesday afternoon, 3 p.m., and it's the middle of my workday. So sometimes I can jump in, sometimes 3 I can't. PM. Gotcha, gotcha. It's three p.m. Three p.m. in New South Wales at the moment on a Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> are, are, do you, I got to ask a question? Do you prefer coffee or tea? Me? Yeah. Coffee every day of the week. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I'm a yeah, I, so, so I'm maybe, a tea maybe guy. We'll change, maybe we'll change the channel name to Harley Throttle Coffee. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're killing me. Where's it's good uh, to see, where, it's, where's your it's better good to see half, all mate? You guys. I just want to say I say it all in the threads, but I just want to say it now personally. While there's a handful of you on, we love all of the channels. I genuinely mean everything I say in all of your threads and all your videos. I most of the the viewing is done in my bed here behind me, very late at night while Rochelle's snoring beside me. <laughs> and um, so we just, we we just love everything that all you guys are doing. It's fantastic. Hey, likewise, buddy. That drone Elisa is just knocking it out of the park, man. I'm yeah, really je- how good has drone Elisa's de- uh, de- debut been? Pretty good, eh? Well, you know, it it isn't it isn't drone Elisa. It's the man behind operating it, and I know that. Well, so. you can say that because she's asleep in the cupboard over there. She can't hear you. Yeah. <laughs> drone Elisa, I mean, not Rochelle. Drone Elisa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The only yeah. thing I want to do... Hey, you run your house how you want to run your house. We, we, <laughs> we can't do it because we've got two bikes side by side, but ultimately I want to get the cool footage that yourself and Tom Egg do with the with the active tracking. It's unreal. Yeah, that is oh, cool. Yeah. I want one too. I got to yeah, get a yeah. drone, man. Those things are so cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're a lot of fun, but I'll tell you what. If you, talk, if you think operating a GoPro was a learning curve... <laughs> When you when you when you open up and unbox that drone and you want to link it to your phone and everything and all that, uh. hey hey, I'm not the one that has trouble operating a GoPro. It's the one the woman downstairs that can't get the voice activation right. Yeah, she can't turn it off, right? <laughs> she can turn it on. She can't turn it on and off. Right, right, right. I know. I saw that. <laughs> I've been seeing that. <laughs> she was uh, she was shocked and horrified that I actually made that because I made that short video and did not tell her I was doing it. Oh. 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 Damn it. The, she the first thing she said was, "What's Jody and all that got to think?" I said, "Don't worry, they got a sense of humor." 
Well, I'll <laughs> yep, tell you what, yep. I, I it was funnier than hell. I loved it. Hey, okay. hey, Roger, Roger, just give her your belt, okay? That's just give her your belt. I already done. I haven't got it back, Tommy. I haven't got it back. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you're good for, mate. Just give her your belt. That's, That's all I'm good for, mate. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, apparently so. Well, I don't ride a CBO, so. Yeah. I'll well, tell you well, one thing. I'll. Where are the pants in my house? <laughs> <laughs> what did he do just then? I missed it. What'd you do? Oh, I, I have, what I say goes. So, hey, hey, I can say it loud and proud. That's I wear the pants in my garage. Is this Mrs. 602? 602, 602 North? Yes. Uh, <laughs> <I'm> making comments. <laughs> Hey Roger, when when they when they get that uh, mail situation fixed over there, you let me know, and I'll I'll I I got some swag I want to send you. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. We're about to send you some stuff as well. I'm in the I'm in the process of changing the logo. Um, Are you? So yeah, no, I, I've got all your personal comments, mate. I appreciate what you say. I know how expensive it is to send stuff overseas. It's all good, brother. It's all good. Hey Roger, right. did you get a letter yet? Sorry. Did you receive my letter? No. No? It's been two weeks no. now. So I don't know what's going I'm on. A I'm oh, a polite so guy. Really. I would have responded by now, brother. <laughs> hey, but, uh, uh, even hey, Desiree, Desiree, Desiree was asking me a few weeks ago, have you not got my Christmas card? And I said, no, we haven't. And, she, and apparently huh. all the Australian stuff yeah. has been taking forever to arrive. So Mail they, wanted, they, wanted, a, they wanted $80. Here. They wanted $80 from me to send an envelope with two stickers in it to Bolt Bucket. $80. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, they, they were forcing you to do what? The priority or whatever mail at that time. I had to wait I like a month did. just to send a letter out. To, to Australia, but it's 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 the time as well. I mean, we're in New South Wales, and no, where we Bolt Bucket on it. is, it took. We sent him stickers initially. I think it took seven or eight, no, no, almost two weeks to get stickers just to another state in Australia. Wow! Wow! Oh man! So, <laughs> that's why, Greg, don't you know? Don't worry about it, mate. We understand what's going on. Right, right. Australia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, hey, I had a good time tonight, you guys. Nice, nice talk. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Greg. Yeah. Yep. It was awesome. Yeah, thank yeah. you, for, you know, guys. I think thank we're going to wrap the shirt. It up soon. Oh, welcome. Um, well, I think yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have one of those. On e What's that? Oh. Tell me. Tom said earlier on he might not be able to get to certain parts of the country, but we will definitely be over there in August or September next year. So the plan is to do a few days in NYC. I've been there, but Rochelle hasn't been out of the country. And then then have a couple of days where we might be able to meet up with a few people before we go and do the Route 66 thing. I know it's cliche, but I, I've never done it, so I definitely want to do that run. So yeah. hopefully we'll have a couple of days where we say to people in certain parts of the country, we're going to be here. If you can hook up for a ride, it'd be fantastic. We'll see what we can do. Roger, if you if you uh, if you haven't done any research on Avenue of the Giants in northern california i'm telling you buddy i yeah, mean i, I love it you, you, you got it you got it quick 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 sailor <laughs> hang on two six here's the other juicer juicer <laughs> juicer <laughs> Rochelle. Yeah, <laughs> oh great! I, how come I didn't get that ovation? you tommy what do you got there tommy <laughs> Beads for beads for Rochelle. What? Oh, <laughs> beads for Rochelle. <laughs> She's going back downstairs. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't. We probably won't have time to do that, Greg. I don't think. Right, I got you. It, United States is a big place, but uh, yeah. I thought I'd throw that out there anyway. No, I appreciate it, but that's why that's why we have to take those few days opportunity before, and then then we'll do the Route sixty six thing. But pretty much when that ends. I, I don't know. Hopefully, we'll have another day or two, but I fear that when that ends, we'll we'll literally be getting down to down into LA and going home. Yeah. Are you doing the whole Route 66? You go all the way to Santa yep. Monica? That's awesome. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's we're doing that this year in June. Oh really? Yep. No. Oh. And no. you know what? Next, when you come next year, we're only five hours from New York City. You're going to be oh, no. coming near us to get to Route 66. 
right? Yeah. I'm just hang on. I'm just getting a call from Eagle Rider. Uh, <laughs> PO3 PS Tommy T G delayed Route 66 until September 23. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. How about that? Yeah. Group ride. We can do next year too. Hey, don't don't waste but, your time. Don't waste your time in New York City. It's overrated. Just see the rest yeah, of. Yeah, I know that, but I've been there, and I and I'm I being a photographer. I'm fascinated <laughs> by it. And uh, there's another caveat on this Eagle Rider contract that says Tommy must be on the back of the spider for the whole two. Well, we all know who's on the back of the CVO, Roger. <laughs> no, no, it was on the back of my bike, not the CVO. <laughs> <laughs> I said to Rochelle, okay, I'll jump on the back for entertainment purposes, but five minutes down the bottom of the hill, that's it. Roger, <laughs> you Roger, you know you loved it and you want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> right on. I, you know what? For the life of me, I don't know why you'd want to go to, uh, out of all the places in the United States, I'm not bagging on New York City, but... I don't know. It's like nothing but skyscrapers, and um, you, you, you might get yeah. you, you yeah, might get up there, been. Roger. Yeah, I know that. I've been there. I've been there before. I was there. I was there in 2014. I spent a week and a half there. I'm just fascinated by the culture and the architecture. And remember, I'm a photographer, so I can walk those streets and just fascinated by it. Rochelle's okay. never been there. That's why we're only going to do two or three days there, and then come out of there, and then then the rest of the trip is centered around riding through the middle of America and seeing that, which I. I've done the East Coast, West Coast, D.C., San Francisco. Oh, wow. But I haven't done the middle. Oh, okay. I got you. So that's why we're doing it that way. Right. Do you, you, you like cornfields? You like <laughs> well, If you're going to end up. I like, I like popcorn. <laughs> hey, if, if you're going to end up in Southern California, you might want to you might, might want to talk to uh, Black Belt Bagger there. I told you, uh, give me some Bundy rum. You can stay at my house. Yeah. Well, as I said, I by the time we get across to that side, I, I fear as though it's going to be, hey, one night's accommodation, and you're on a, you're at LAX again. So yeah. we'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Because wait, don't wait, forget, what? we've got. Because you guys, so we're going to be there two and a half weeks. How how many weeks a year do you guys get for annual leave? Depends on your job. I mean, really, it just depends on what, what what you do for a living. You know, some. No, 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 no. Annual leave. How much holiday do you get a year for your work? I work for myself, so I get as much as I want. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. <laughs> what? I work a no, dollar. Get four, I work get, a dollar get general. Four so I, get, a year. Four weeks. I work a dollar general. I get four days. That's it. Four. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you being? You got more jokes tonight, Tommy, or what? <laughs> yeah, come on. It's five dollar general now. Come on, though. I wasn't. I wasn't going to bag on you <laughs> where you really work, but I, I had. I had kind of had to think it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> There's a dollar general on every corner, Greg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got them up here too. I just don't go into them. Right, I, I got to take off, guys. I got more work to do. Hey, Roger. Good to see you, man. Thanks for dropping in. Roger, drop by next week, Tuesday as well. Same time, starting at 7.30. If you want to hop. I'll see. I'll, I, I, can, I can hop on every week. It just depends on how long I can, but I'll definitely look out for him, man. Appreciate it. We, we want to see know, Rochelle. Man. Just say it. We want to see I know Rochelle. It's an awkward oh, okay. time for you guys. <laughs> we want to see your right, best. I'll, send the, I'll, I'll, stay, I'll stay over there. I'll send the beads in. There okay. You. Yeah. 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 We hear you loud and clear, Tommy. <laughs> The creative director. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. Love your work. See you right. later. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 <laughs> hey, guys. I think I'm going to sign out too. But thanks for inviting me. I appreciate it. Yeah, me too. I'm a. Uh, I'm yeah. after my bedtime. It's eight. So. Right on, Brandon. <laughs> no, doesn't anybody stay up anymore? <laughs> I can't, man. <laughs> Tommy, you're up like 2 a.m. sometimes on that Instagram. I don't want to miss anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, you know, yeah, I, I, I like guys for including me. This is my first. Uh, this is my first live stream ever, so oh, I had a lot of fun. Cool. Congrats, yeah. Brandon. That's cool. And I, I bought. Yeah. If you watched yesterday's video, I bought 
stamps. Yes. So now yes. I have yes. yes. stickers out that I've got sitting here. You got a new video out? out? Uh, I put one out yesterday. You did? About, a, yeah, when I was talking shit about that bike builder. <laughs> you, you were you were on fire i, I was I, mad i actually had to edit it because i actually threatened him in the video and then i took it out because <laughs> i said you know what i'm gonna start going to rallies and i see that you're at rallies so maybe i'll just walk up to your booth and i'll introduce myself <laughs> i was like i better take that out that's not cool <laughs> i guess i missed it brandon you know me i'm pretty but good about yeah i'm pretty good about you commented on it stuff but i don't think i've seen it I thought you commented. It was the one where I talked about my LED lights and uh, my blown shock. And then I talked about the uh, $58,000 uh, 107 street glide that the guy was selling okay. from Okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Hey, Brand, Brand, hey, Brandon, that comes with a warranty. You know that. Great. Uh, right? You didn't avoid the warranty. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking guy. And we know how important the Harley warranty is. Right? It's, yeah, no doubt. I have a, you know what's funny is I have a really – great story about someone using an esp to its absolute max and it's my dad so my dad had a um he had the cvo springer soft tail you guys remember that I'm like oh I yeah say it was like like 2010 or something like that it was a beautiful bike freaking bronze it was sick um yeah, front end he bought on. it had the, yeah the front end was so great it had a had a 110 and yeah. um he started getting some something really early and my dad is a uh, really a mechanically inclined person but when he started riding bikes he's like i'm not touching this bike everything's gonna be done by the dealer i'm gonna keep buying warranties for it and i'm just not gonna touch it so when that started happening because he he knows what he's looking at he saw the problem so at service he started complaining about it and they're like oh you know whatever whatever it's normal it's within reason you know blah 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 and like he just kept going back to the dealer at 20,000 miles, he got an entire new motor for it off the ESP. Wow. Just simply because he wouldn't stop bitching about it. And that's, that's the only person cool. that I know I do that. <laughs> that's gotten their money's worth out of their uh, after out of their extended warranty plan. Like, and he just kept on, and he just happened to keep going back to Lakeland Harley in Florida, and like a corporate guy happened to be there one day, and he got that guy's ear. You know, it's, it's, that, kept... it's that old saying, the squeaky wheel that gets greased, you yep. know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. See, I'm not, I'm not like that. Like, uh, the M8 motor, I think, is probably one one of Harley's best, uh, best, most bulletproof motors, as long right. as you take care of it. Right. Um, other than the early oil pump issues, all the other issues seem to, it seems to be pretty bulletproof as long as you don't, you know, thin out these walls too much and then not cool it. You know. Right. Don't put a 131 in it and sit in traffic for two hours. You might blow up. You know. Yeah, well, you're, you're right, Brandon. When they when they came out with that, they had some uh, oil uh, leakage into the yep. other compartments there. And mm -hmm. I, you know, my my 2018 Harley Ultra Limited, you know, is an M8, and I was I was uh, skeptical about that. So mine can't, you know, mine can't. I bought mine used, but mine still had an extended warranty, and I was happy about that because I, uh, you know, and the de the dealer, you know, checked it out at every oil change. And I said, yeah. I, if there's one ounce leaking to another place, I want to you know, swap that it. pump to the new pump. Exactly. But it, it's <laughs> just mm -hmm. nice. that It was nice that it had a little extra protection because about, of right? that issue, yeah. you know, but not yeah. all of them in the early ones. But as they as they you know, night, well, what, 18, 19 up until now, it's there. They fixed it. Yep. Yeah. I uh, yeah. my what's funny is I had a Dyna before this, a twin cam Dyna. That thing started something at like 3000 miles. Oh, they, I'm by. telling you, the twin cam motors were horrible. The Easy 88, shit. especially. Yeah, I uh, I took it back and I traded in on this for for mainly that reason. Like I did, I'd only had my Dyna for like a year and a half, and when it just got, it just kept getting worse. And so yeah. I went to look at the baggers, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get rid of this thing before it gets too bad. <laughs> and Good I, deal. Uh, I got I traded in for this, so. But yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Uh, have an awesome night. Thank you so much for including me and. Uh, Nice maybe to meet you, week, Brandon. Just, I, now that I yeah. know I can do this on my phone, maybe I'll just do it straight from the gym. That way I don't have to drive. So There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right. Hey, I'll, and I'll, then I'll, you, 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 can, you can show us some uh, some of your uh, jujitsu moves. moves. Yeah. And, yeah. Like, I, I'll throw a little, uh, I need to throw a little more jujitsu content on the pay, on the channel. I'll throw, some, uh, I'll throw some stuff up there so you guys can see what I get to do. That'd be cool I as mostly, hell. Rear, rear naked choke I spend stuff. most of my time with kids. So I'm, I'm pretty... <laughs> right. 
I'm pretty blessed. I don't get to be too mature. I get to spend most of my time talking about boogers and farts with little kids. <laughs> <laughs> There's worse ways to make a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> nice right to on. meet you, Brandon. All right, guys. Take you care. Too, I'll see you guys soon, okay? Bye. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Tommy G and Purple on three. There's two. My uh, those those are my besties right there, Tom. Did you know that? I and I, I haven't spent much time talking to them. They've been kind of quiet, because, uh, as you guys all know, when it comes to comes to being in videos, I get on my bike and I freeze up and I I have all these great ideas while I'm sitting on the couch of things to talk about when I'm riding. And then I get on my motorcycle you. and I can't talk, but you get me on here and I, <laughs> and I won't shut up. You get going, Greg. You just keep rambling, rambling. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was supposed yeah. to go quiet tonight, but I, I'm exhausted from work. And, uh, <laughs> I hear you. What happened was, if you guys want to know why we even did this whole live thing, I was kind of screwing around last Tuesday. I was, I was bored and I went live just to try the StreamYard thing. Yeah. for the first time and wally was the first one to show up junkyard dadsky and we started screwing around and figured out how to do this stream yard thing we said well, let's do it oh, oh greg you showed up as well so there's the three of us and we said well, right. let's do a, let's do a live next week and here we are and we said Let, let's do kind of a live and we we thought of you guys purple and three tommy g we're like let's invite you guys let's invite a few more people and Thank you. Yeah. Have it like, like an open, open thing. And we had just some awesome random people show up. Uh, Desert Rose, sorry, I, I don't know you or your channel, but I'll, I'll definitely check that out. When Thank I get you. Here. Um, but it was fun. I mean, I still yeah. was. I yeah. don't know what to say tonight, but when there's so I'm many people, person. I, I kind of let everybody else talk, but we have less people now, so I'm rambling on. But uh, <laughs> well, you have, you have every right to it's your it, this is your show, yeah. man. I apologize if I've. Oh no, it's good. It's good. <laughs> I I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what to do. But I want to get Wally back on here. He does great of kind of like announcing yeah. everything. Hey, welcome to the show. We should have everybody uh, introduce themselves. So uh, <laughs> we'll do it again next week. And heck, you know, if you guys want to show up, you're welcome to show up. Just message message me on Instagram, and we'll. Uh, We'll think of something. I think we'll just do the same time next Tuesday. And if you want to show up later, pop in, pop out. It's kind of fun. We'll try to get some more uh, it, bloggers on here. Is yeah. that? Uh, is it? Do, yeah. Should we expect? Is there another way you can invite us other than a uh, link through Instagram, or is that the easiest way to do it? Do you know? No, or is it right now? I think that's the easiest way or the fastest way. Um, right. yeah. that's like our yeah. only other contact we can't really send messages through this site or youtube right um, th did it work okay i mean i feel like everybody yeah got yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah yeah it yeah. did i just, i was just kind of i was kind of tripping out because it was like 6 25 and i was like well i guess i'm not going to be a part of this live stream i don't see any link or anything and then all of a sudden it popped up so yeah, yeah, I think we were, we were kind of late, uh, waiting till last minute. We all got here, what, at like, well, 7, 7.20 my time, mountain time. So right. You, you guys. But, I was uh, I was out chasing coyotes and came in and grabbed a shower. She was like, it's 20 after 9, get down here. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I like the setup you guys got going there with the flag in the background and everything. I got to I gotta come up with something creative next week other than my ceiling. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and Greg, try try grab, grabbing your iPad or whatever you have. I think with that larger screen, you may may be able to have the comments pop up as well. Yeah, now, that'd be cool. Like on that my end, cool. it it kind of sucks because I, I was hoping that every comment that pops up would pop up kind of like this, but I have right. to kind of pay attention, and like pick these comments up and do that. We're, we're right, right. As well, but so, right. Uh, I think it was it was a fun show. I mean, did you guys enjoy dropping by the live? No yeah. doubt. Yeah. I, I, I have I have a little feeling of of uh, confidence uh, on camera right now because when I'm when I'm making my videos, the last thing I want to do is point the camera at my own face. So yeah, well, you don't have to tell me about that. That's uh, the most awkward thing, especially in a crowd when you're like pointing a camera and talking to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Weird thing, right? Yeah, hey, yeah, hey yeah. can I can I do one last impression for you guys? Oh, here we go. Uh -oh. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll be right back. Hang on. All right. <laughs> do, 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 
Here comes Penelope. Oh, Here comes Penelope. Oh no. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay. Oh. So, so we we've been we've been watching this series. Yellowstone. <laughs> And, oh my god yeah i'm telling you you get you get hooked at, uh, i'm telling you yellowstone <laughs> it's <laughs> it is it is just so cool <laughs> you know <laughs> uh, i knew you had I'm something you, up i, your I sleeve, gotta check man. it out you're the probably the fifth person that told me this it's good oh it's, it's good. good oh yeah yeah we gotta see i got the rifle like uh kevin costner there right so, right oh yeah yeah, you guys gotta check it out, dude. Get on. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny, dude. Oh, you'll shoot your eye out. Oh, stop! Give me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nice, nice talking with you guys. We'll see you All next right. week. Okay. You too, Greg. It was all right. See you. Good night. Oh, good night, guys. Thanks for good joining. Night. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you.